All right, I'm on hole number eight of the 2019 fall major. I'm in the opening round of the rookie division. Let's go hole number eight. Whew, I need to get an eagle on this hole. This hole, I have this hole dialed in with my upper level account. If you've got, and, and the deal is, is you'll have to do this with the clubs that you have in your bag. But I'm coming around. I'm setting up in this area right here, and I'm coming in out like this so that it's coming down the hill, and I'm actually ending up on the green, taking a putt, getting my eagle, and moving on. Uh, but where do you want to get down here? Anywhere other than this sand. As long as it's got that bright green and not this dark green, you're in. You're awesome. Uh, you've got a shot. So you just need to get down there. But if you've got lower developed stuff, trying to get around this corner right here, is difficult so with my rock it hits at 231 and i'm using a katana a power two ball and i don't have to use like the red line is right out here i don't actually i'm not actually pushed up against the red line i'm taking just a little teeny bit of power out a quasar is not quite enough and the katana's got three side spin and so the three side spin is really important and if i so just so you know if you've got upper developed stuff and you're watching this i'm using a rock I'm using four backspin, max left side spin, and curl, max curl, max side spin, left side spin, and max curl. And it's bringing the ball right around like this, hitting the green, coming back towards the cup. As weird as this sounds, it's super close to a hole in one. <laughs> But trying to get this done with lower developed stuff is different because I don't like hitting underneath the trees with these because I don't have stuff to get me over there. I would rather hit over the trees. And I know that hitting under the trees is a popular shot, but I think hitting over the trees, if you get if you do clip the trees, you fall through the trees and you'll end up out here in the rough. Whereas if you're coming this way and you get involved with the trees, you could end up up in the trees. And I'm not a fan of laying up. If you're looking for that layup shot, you're going to have to go find somebody else to demo that for you because I would rather be down here in the sand, in the rough, in this sand. I'd rather be anywhere other than the trees than these two spots up here because it's, it's not an impossible shot, but it's close. So let's see what I have in my bag for drivers. So my driver choice. I came here in the uh, qualifying round. And I made the eagle on this with an extra mile, and I just hit through. I just hit over the top of the trees. And 54 curl is not going to get it done. And that's about the best that I have. 67. Uh, it's still and 214. So I'm giving up 16, 17 yards of distance. And even with a power three ball, I'd have to use. I'd have to use a kingmaker, and I still don't think I could get it down there. I'm going to just have to go straight forward at it with my extra mile and a titan. Now, during the weekend round, I could, I could possibly bring out one of those five power balls and see if I could get a little past the trees and bounce it down there. Now here's the tricky thing, is that if you don't put on all of the top spin and you're a little short, you'll get caught up in the rough. But if you put off on all the top spin and you hit it perfect, you could end up flying over. I'm gonna put on four top spin. I'm gonna leave that last little bit off. And the wind's blowing four four, so my extra mile hits two four. So it's gonna hit it out towards my orange ring out there on that angle. Somewhere in that neighborhood. Hitting a one ring great to the right. Stop. You rap. You rap. Ah. Just. That's exactly what I was talking about. I took just a little bit of topspin off. It dug down in, but it didn't dig in quite enough. It was a really good shot going over. Nice and clean. And you can see down there, if you don't put enough topspin on it and you're a little short, you won't dribble out into the fairway. And if you hit it perfect, that little bit could be too much. I can still make this shot, though. From this distance, um, it's all going to boil down to hitting it perfect. Perfect. 
You know, what's really funny on a course like this is, is that if you were down there on the green, there would be very little wind because the, the way that the wind is blowing right now, it's going to hit those trees and there's going to be a pocket down there by the green. And at the green itself, there's going to be very little wind, if any at all. But in the game, it won't register those obstructions as blocking the wind. So the wind's blowing down there exactly like it's blowing up top, which isn't exactly how it works in the real world. But then again, we're playing a game. All right, got to hit this perfect. Isn't it perfect? Woo! That's what I'm talking about right there. <laughs> Picked up five and eight. Did exactly what I needed to do. Whole goal is to try and get a minus 14 per side. The minimum is minus 12. It could be argued that the minimum should be minus 13. If you've got upper developed clubs, it really should be minus 13. If you do have lower developed clubs, um, it really is minus 12. But being able to pick up two on the front. And the whole goal is to get set up for the weekend round with tiebreakers. Good luck in the tournament. All right, that was hole number eight of the 2019 Fall Major in the opening round of the Ricky Division. Thanks for watching.